What's going on YouTube? New World Ordinance here and we are taking a up close and personal look at the Cobra Enterprises CB9 Big Bore Double Barrel 9mm Derringer. This particular example is in a blued finish with the nice rosewood grips. The Cobra Enterprises CB9 is a great pocket pistol chambered in 9mm. It has two two and a quarter inch barrels and holds two rounds of ammo. Uh, comes with either black synthetic grips, rosewood grips, and I think there's also like a uh, faux ivory style grips. 4.65 inches overall length, 14 ounces empty, and it's got an alloy frame, and it is single action only. Now I don't know exactly uh, how heavy the trigger pull is on this particular pistol, but it does have not only a heavy trigger pull, but the shape of the trigger, which we'll verify we're unloaded there. Cock that hammer back. Now the shape of the trigger is such that when you pull the trigger, watch my finger will actually go down. So that takes some getting used to whenever you're first shooting one of these. But by about halfway through the box ammo, not only will you know that you shot it due to its uh, peppy recoil, but you will have gotten used to that strange trigger pull on this thing. That's probably one of the most common uh, comments that you'll see people make when they review these is that it just has kind of a strange trigger pull to it compared to most common uh, pistol triggers. So these can be found brand spanking new for under $200, which kind of gives them a leg up on their competition as far as the Derringer market goes, but puts them in that same class as the North American Arms Mini Revolver. The main difference between the two is going to be that the Mini Revolver, of course, holds five rounds of 22 or 22 mag, and this Big Bore, while only having two rounds, has the bigger 9mm. This particular example is used. It's kind of hard to tell here. It still looks brand new. The previous owner shot uh, half a box of ammo through it or so and cleaned it real well, put it up, and it sat uh, somewhere in his house for several months before he brought it in and ended up trading it towards a different uh, backup pistol. But definitely a cool option, very affordable, and uh, definitely concealable if you're looking for something to pocket carry that doesn't break the bank. Now, its direct competitor is probably going to be the Bond Arms. And the thing that's going to set this apart from the Bond Arms is not only its size, it's smaller than the Bond Arms, but it's also much lighter than the Bond Arms. With the NAA Mini Revolver or this Cobra Derringer, I could actually pocket carry this in some basketball shorts without worrying about it dragging my pants down. But with the Bond Arms, due to its uh, quality construction and all steel construction, uh, it's definitely a little heavier uh, on the heavier side, and it, if you're wearing basketball shorts, unless you got those suckers tied up real tight, it's going to have a tendency to drag them down as you walk around. So I'm glad to be able to show you this thing. Uh, not everyone's going to have one of these in stock if you're going to check it out at your local dealer. So hopefully you can use this video to give you an idea if this is something that you're going to want to order online and transfer in. We got over 13,000 subscribers, so if you're not yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and stay tuned for more live videos just like this. So as always, we appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time.